Hey everybody, last week I sat in on a Space Claim training session and picked up a pretty cool tip for using mouse gestures to control what's happening on the screen. And it turns out that uh, Space Claim has uh, some pretty intense control for that, but there are probably lots of other programs including uh, Firefox, which I'll also show, uh, where you may want to try this technique. So the first thing we'll do here is just, uh, you know, create something simple in Space Claim. And maybe we'll, you know, pull a round here. Maybe we'll pop a, a hole in the top of this guy. And uh, let's go ahead and copy that hole as well. Oh, and by the way, let's shift the position of that a little bit over here. Okay. So there's our first. Oh, well, let's do one more thing for fun. Let's go ahead and pull that into a nice round. Okay, so we've created a simple part, simple object. Now, you could just use the undo button, which is common to most uh, Windows applications, um, or you could hold down the right mouse button and move your cursor to the left, and that will undo the last operation. And you could do it again, and again, and again. And redo, similarly, just simply hold down the right mouse button and do a quick swipe to the right, and that will redo. So that's probably the extent uh, to which I would use these. However, <laughs> it's insane how many mouse gestures Space Claim supports, and let's take a look at those. If you just go into the uh, help section, you can see a few of these. Uh, so the little blue arrows here indicate what direction uh, and maneuver you need to do with your mouse while holding down the right mouse button and you can get any of these. Uh, one of the guys in the uh, training class actually pointed out this one. Uh, it's a little tough to pull off the first time but you can actually create a new design by making an in shape for new uh, just by holding down the right mouse button. So I'll demonstrate that here. See if I can get it. I didn't quite get it that time. Let's try it again. And there's a speed issue with that as well. So there we go. Anyway, I recommend you give that a try. Uh, it's pretty neat. Now, let's turn our attention to Firefox, something that uh, everybody can use. So if you use Firefox as a browser, uh, it, it does have several different choices in terms of adding an add-in for or a plug-in for mouse gestures. Uh, the one I chose is uh, just called Mouse Gestures. Um, you can get it through uh, mousegestures.org and uh, here they give you a, a quick little look at how that works. Now again, uh, I, my use of mouse gestures is going to be pretty limited. I'm going to basically just use it for back, which is to the left, and forward, which is to the right. Um, as you can see here, there are lots of other options and apparently you can create all your own, but uh, my brain will only hold so much. Uh, to get the product, you'll just uh, go in here and grab Mouse Gestures 3.0 and install it. Pretty easy. Once it's up and running, uh, what I liked about it is you could turn this off, but I kind of like the orange uh, marker that comes up. If you hold down the right, the right mouse button, just like in Space Claim, and move to the left. Well, I didn't quite get it. There we go. It's uh, back and move to the right. It's forward, so you can go back as many times as you want. and. Yeah, it's just for those lazy people who don't want to uh, go all the way back up here and uh, use these buttons. So wherever your mouse happens to be, you can control forward, back, and probably many other things. So recommend you give that a try. And uh, if you know of any other programs like Word or uh, you know any of the Office products that people normally use that have uh, handy mouse gesture capability, uh, please leave a comment. Love to find out about those.